good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be talking about what happened on monday night raw last night if you guys did watch monday night raw then you know exactly what happened and i'll tell you what happened uh we found out as a wwe universe as a crowd as a fan of WWE, we found out that Lafayette, Louisiana is the absolute worst place to ever hold a WWE event, especially a WWE event like Monday Night Raw, where you're going to be having Aleister Black, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, and Ricochet, four of your biggest talents in your developmental brand, NXT, which is the best brand out of the three, Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. You're going to debut all four of them on the main roster in front of the absolute worst crowd ever, and Jesus, man, they were so bad, I can't even get over it, guys. Like, I, we're going to go through the entire night right quick. So we started off, you know, we start off all the, all the action here. Triple H comes out and he talks about NXT debuts for tonight and that they're going to be coming out there and they're going to be, you know, putting on a show tonight. And we get Aleister Black, Tommaso Ciampa, and Johnny Gargano, a.k.a. DIY. We got Ricochet in the house, and everybody's, you know, like, well, the crowd, did, I mean, the crowd's just dead. They don't know what to do. They don't know who the hell those guys are. They're sitting on their hands. They don't They don't care who they are. So our first matchup, we got Finn Balor in the ring. Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush come out causing problems. Obviously, Finn Balor just won the Intercontinental Championship from Bobby Lashley. So he's out there, and uh, we're going to, and out of nowhere, out comes Ricochet and Bobby my God, guys, Ricochet, my boy Ricochet looked like a hundred million dollars. This man looked absolutely amazing, flying all over the ring, looking like an absolute madman out there, just killing it. And the crowd did not care. They they literally reacted to nothing, man. All his amazing moves, all of his athleticism, all of his springboards, all his flips and everything. They literally reacted to zero, man. They li they literally reacted to... I tweeted about it a lot. I, I mean, Twitter, Twitter let him have it. I... I don't think that Lafayette, Louisiana is ever going to hear the end of it. I will never forget that city. I'm never going to forget them for ruining all these guys' main roster debuts. Um, so so that I can thank them for that. So anyways, Ricochet comes out and helps Finn Balor defeat Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley. Of course, we get Ricochet to pin Leo Rush there. Very nice stuff. Then later on in the night, we get DIY and The Revival backstage. They had a little, you know, uh, mix and match there. Talking about it with Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Really nice, you know, promo by both of those. Those men talking about, you know, their presence on Monday Night Raw and just everything like that. I thought that was terrific. They had a great match, man. Again, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa tearing it down. I mean, I thought I was dreaming. I was like, is this even real life or am I witnessing DIY right now? Fight the Revival on Monday Night Raw. The Raw Tag Team Champions versus the NXT and North American Champions right now. And what a match it was. It was an amazing match. Great spots, great back and forth. Just uh, amazing matchup between these two teams on Monday Night Raw. And the crowd could not give less of a damn. They did not care. They weren't into it. I, I was going crazy, man. I was going crazy in my own head. Just like, what are you doing? And then to top it all off, guys, one of our last moments in the last hour of Monday Night Raw, the crowd that's already, they already didn't give a damn. This crowd's exhausted by this point. I mean, it's already Monday Night Raw, so you gotta give them a break a little bit because it's Monday Night Raw and the show's usually atrocious. But when you get talents like this to come out on Monday Night Raw, the dreadful name and show that is Monday Night Raw, to come out and wrestle in front of you and to put on a show, Alistair Black interrupts Elias to come out there and go one-on-one -on -one in a singles match with with Elias. That crowd, I witnessed them the whole time. I watched them the entire time. Not one single word came from the crowd during his entrance. He raises up from the stage. He looks like a total badass. He looks like he's a big deal. The crowd treated him like a jobber. They they did not care. They they, they were non-existent. They didn't react to anything. I felt so, I felt like I don't know, I felt like just, I don't know, I was cringing at how bad the crowd was so because it was just like they weren't present, man. They they did not care about anything. And at the end of the night, I felt so bad for Aleister Black, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, and Ricochet that they went out there and they had to debut and perform in front of that dreadful crowd. And I... It's literally sad because I think that even in front of a decent crowd, that they, their reactions and their matches would have been ten times better because of a regular crowd. It, can you imagine? Imagine this. If they did this exact Monday Night Raw script and full show the night after the Royal Rumble, can you imagine it? Can you just just think about it for a second? Do you realize how much more epic this Monday Night Raw would have been to have all these men in the ring after the Royal Rumble? 
I mean, my lord, it would have been beautiful. But, I mean, besides that, let's, let's just get the terrible crowd, which did play a huge part of the show, out of it. I mean, I, un I don't really know where this is going from here. I know we had all these talents. We had all these debuts. Uh, first of all, I don't think they're going to stick around. I think this is a one-off thing, at least until after WrestleMania. I don't think they're going to be on every single night. Obviously, Tommaso Ciampa is still NXT champion. Johnny Gargano is North American champion. And uh, I don't know. They're definitely not going to be sticking around. It's just not going to happen. First of all, you're not going to put all four of those big-time talents on Monday Night Raw and not give anything to SmackDown Live. And secondly... Um, I just think that they need to stay in NXT at least for a few more weeks, at least till after WrestleMania and, you know, NXT TakeOver New York, I believe, or Brooklyn, whichever one. I think it'll be Brooklyn, and it'll be really nice. But that, I, I just wanted to talk about that awful crowd last night. I wanted to go through what happened in Monday Night Raw if you guys missed it. If you did miss it, definitely go check out all the highlights because I want you guys to tell me what you thought of the crowd. I want you to tell me what you thought of all their matches. Aleister Black, Ricochet, all of them looked fantastic. All four men looked incredible. And I remember in the tag team match specifically, Johnny Gargano and Champa had to, do, like, they had to get the crowd going a hundred times, man. It's like they would start a cheer or a chant, and then they just stop all of a sudden. It, it was it was awful. It was terrible. It was atrocious, and it, it just wasn't good, guys. But anyways, that pretty much does it for today's video. I'm working on a custom today, and I'm going to have it up to you guys by tomorrow, hopefully. And I think you guys are going to love it. I hope uh, it turns out the way I want it to. You guys will obviously see it in tomorrow's video, most likely. But I just wanted to get up this, talk about Monday Night Raw and what happened. Are we going to see any NXT talent on SmackDown? Maybe we already know that. Uh, but by the time you guys are seeing this, uh, nothing has been announced just yet. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you thought of the crowd last night. What you think of all their debuts on Monday Night Raw. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.